Hello everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all well. We are back with another map tour, and tonight we are taking an early look at Large H Mapping's Glenwood Farms. Welcome guys to Glenwood Farms. Uh, this is a preview of a map. It's not out just yet. Large H is doing some very last minute tweaks to it before he puts it out there. But uh, if you want to find out how he's getting on with the map, definitely give him a follow on his Facebook page, which I'll put in the description of the vid below. Now, you know my thoughts on maps in FS19, and the ones I get really excited about are the ones that actually have a story behind them that belong to real places. Uh, and that's why I only like to do reviews of maps that 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 are real, that exist in the world. And this is this is one of those maps. And more so than that, this is uh, a map based around three farms that Large H actually grew up on himself. So that backstory is just for me really really interesting, and and I think makes makes these maps. So what we'll do, we'll have a quick tour round and show you uh, what's what on the map, and give you a feel for it. And then uh, we'll maybe jump in a truck and have a tour around. So one of the first things worth noting is that uh, Large H has based the map on real terrain data. Um, so it is pretty accurate to what you'll find in the real world. Um, he's also introduced some really lovely custom textures to this map. With the red soils of central Virginia, um, which they're renowned for. Uh, making an appearance here and i think they look really really good they're set off so so well so again something really nice about that we've obviously got a uh, multi-terrain angle in here as well which to be honest these days um is almost an expectation and the map, the map making guys have have upped the bar so much now that it's almost an expectation that they have multi-terrain uh angles in there but of course large h being the man he is has put those in so that's brilliant just popping in and having a look at the HUD here, you can see it's not a huge map, it's a standard size map, uh, but it has got a real decent range of field sizes in here, from small fields like uh, field 11 there and field 2 um, to big beasts like field 17 there. So, for example, I think probably field 11, oh no, 24 down here is your smallest field at just $20,000 or £20,000, um, and then field 17 is the beast. Um, and that's coming in at 542,000. So um, you've got choice there, which is great. Now, this map is based around three farms. Um, Glenwood Farm, Babsom Farm, and Jacqueline Hall Farm. So I had the luxury of chatting to Large H on Discord the other day, and he was telling me that although there's three farms on the map, they are all actually owned by the same farm in real life. So you've got different purposes for the farms. Uh, one for storage, where all your machinery is stored, which you would probably class as the main farm, as Glenwood Farm. Uh, and then Babson and Jacqueline Hall Farm are where you would keep your animals and storage of, of crops and there's silos there and things like that. So um, could be an interesting thing if you're playing this map to uh, to utilize them in a different way, or you could split them up and, and play with your mates and you know have a farm each. Entirely up to you. Entirely up to you. So um, let's jump down to the bottom right hand corner down here which is where your animal purchase point your grain cell point and your shop are so first and foremost here is your grain cell point uh, you just pull around the back of the shed here and uh, that's where you would unload your cereal crops uh, there we go orange madison co-op so again true to life what you would see if you turned up here in your truck in real life and then just over the road here, you've got Greenline Corp, who are your animal dealership and your shop point. Now, if you purchase something in the shop, which we will do, and I'm actually going to get a truck, which I downloaded today. So it's the first time I've had a chance to use it, and it feels apt for this map as well. Uh, we will buy that and use that as our mode of transport. Uh, but when you buy the trucks, oh, I bought two. Look at that. It deposits them just here, um, so you don't have to travel far to pick them up. So what we're going to do, we'll jump in the truck here, and we will head out of here, and we will head basically due north uh, to the first farm. But what we'll do, uh, what's nice about driving around here, it gives you an opportunity to see the landscape, see how much greenery and uh, space there is as well. 
uh, as well as big fields there are some nice wide open spaces that you could utilize and, and plow under if you wanted and turn into other fields so that's always a great thing to do um, but we'll pull onto the road here now I'm going to pop up the mini map because I know some of you like to see where you are on the map or get some sort of an idea as to where you are on the map when you uh, when I'm driving around them so there we go uh, as you can see over there in the distance um, there is the first farm the harvest store is there and uh, you can see how the fields are laid out here so actually some really decent level changes in the contouring of the map which is great um, so we'll just pull in front of this car here not knocking over the post box and we will head down to the farm um, very uh, very overgrown paths it's got a, it's got a definite certain style to it this map which is great so the first farm is over here which consists of a couple of harvest stores and the farmhouse it's not a huge farm uh, it's got a little bit of ground here we could put a shed on again Large H told me there was a shed on this farm up until about 2008 before it was knocked down uh, but again the option here to kind of make the farm your own if you want to which is great uh, a very rickety old shed placeable in the background there uh, which looks great lovely little feature there um, and the power lines don't want to hit those with the combine, do you? Um, but looking at the field size as well, look at the size of some of these fields. There's fantastically big fields, which could be really good fun to uh, good fun to harvest. Now, what we're going to do here, that's Farm C, Jacqueline Hall Farm. We are going to head due northwest up here, and we're going to take you to Farm B, Babson Farm. Again, this feels incredibly rural. It's um, it's really nice from that perspective. Lots and lots of uh, kind of overgrown shrubbery and narrow paths, and it feels like there's nobody here. Um, I'll have to say, I've never been to Virginia, unfortunately, in my life. Uh, like a long list of places in the States, but uh, if it looks like this, I'm, uh, I'm going to add it to the list for sure. So again, as we get close to the farm, you can see the way the path right winds around here. Um, just nice, gives it some character. Um, and there we've got a fence, large fenced off part here. So here we are at the second farm, and we will just pull in here. You've got the farmhouse just there on your left. And as we head down here, a couple of garages there as well. As we head down here, we've got a couple of barns, another silo. And we'll just pull around here. Again, options for storage. You can leave some of your machinery here if that's uh, more beneficial. Uh, and this long, narrow shed here, which is great. Some lovely features here, like the uh, the bales just lying out. Uh, and over there, you can see the feed trough for the animal pastures, where everything fenced off. And we've got another feed point here. Again, so you can get in there, feed the animals. Um, but it doesn't feel like it's a, like been really placed there. They've, he's really given some thought to how he's uh, laid this out. So it just feels natural and really part of the land. Lovely job. Actually, really, really nice, that. Okay, let's, uh, let's run up to the main farm. And on the way, we'll stop and look at some of the fields. So we're now heading away from Babson Farm, which is just behind us there. This is a different road to the road we came in on. And this will run us back to the main road. Uh, from which we will take a left. In fact, I don't even think we take a left. We literally go straight across the road and we will arrive at Glenwood Farm. Again, you can see how the dips and the rolling uh, nature of the fields is with the contouring. That's lovely. Let's just head up here. Yes, there's the uh, main road. Better respect the stop sign, but there's Glenwood straight ahead of us. So we will cross over the road here, and again, just want to point out how uh, how big some of these fields are. Could have some real fun on this map. You know, just on the way to Glenwood, you can see it over there in the distance. There is a, a left turn, which takes you down here to this little area. So I thought it would be nice to go and just have a look at this. Um, couple of barn placeables and access to some grass fields um, which looks quite nice 
Lots of grass here. If you like mowing, this could be a map for you. So let's run back to the road and head all the way to Glenwood Farms now. I won't get distracted again. I love a map that's just got lots of little, just, just interesting points on it that you don't necessarily see on the PDA and you have to drive around to, to find them. Now a lot of these fields are wide open fields, um, there is no kind of hedges or or fences to block you in, which is great. It means you can uh, kind of adapt your uh, machinery size to the type of gameplay that you like to play. So I always like the, the flexibility of that, shall we say. So here we are. Uh, this is the main farm. This is Glenwood Farm. Um, a mixture of sheds. There is over there some more sheds. Uh, I think that's the animal uh, pasture and uh, animal point. But what we'll do, we'll just we'll just pop out here and we'll go and have a look in the sheds because this is uh, we're in farm manager mode here uh, so uh, it shows you the equipment uh, that you start off with so you've got yourself a truck there for hauling grain uh, come on harvester uh, a six series John Deere and through here a nice new Holland baler another John Deere six series uh, a grain cart uh, a mower and a windrower. So, like I said, if you like uh, grass work, this could be a map for you. And um, we'll head out of here. I believe there's more machinery in here. There's your sprayer there as well. Um, it's not a big farm. It's like, like I said before, it's really rural. Um, but we've got another tractor in there. So you've got three tractors. That's a seven series, which is great. Uh, and there's your combine header, rather large planter, uh, a nice cultivator there as well. So you've got some great kit to get yourself started if you want to start in farm manager mode. And what we'll do, we'll just nip back to the truck and we'll head up uh, to the cattle yard and have a look at that. So just heading up to the cows here, this is an interesting feature that uh, Large H told me about. And that is uh, a storage spot for silage bales. Uh, he's put these placeables in here as well, but you can store bales here. Uh, and especially if you're playing in seasons, they won't rot over time because he's put a snow mask over this. Um, in real life, he says they, they store bales here for months on, on, on end, and uh, he wanted to replicate that in game. So um, there is a snow mask under here, which I believe you could store bales on. Um, so if you want to do that uh, and play authentic, you know you've got that as an option, which is great. Okay, here we are. So here's your, here's your cow yard. So we want to keep some cows on your yard. Here's the place for them. You can get them fed and watered here with no trouble. Uh, nice, nice featured cow yard here. Um, feed them through there. Ditch your hay in there. And I do believe your water is just here. So there you go, guys. Um, that is Glenwood Farms by Large H Modding. Uh, fantastic little map. Um, so much character to it. I love the fact it's a real place in the world and somebody who actually lived there has taken the time to design and build this in-game for us to play on. And for me, that's the essence of Farm Sim. I think that's what makes the community so strong is that the people who have a real love and, and a real passion for, for farming and not just farming, but you know, sharing their love of farming with the world. So absolutely brilliant from that perspective really really enjoyed this map uh those field textures i mean they get me every time i think they look fantastic and are a real point of differentiation which is fantastic and and just generally go, go and go and follow large h on facebook give him some love from the farm sim guy community and and keep an eye open for this map when it comes out because you know if you like playing authentic gameplay i think this could be a beautiful little map um to play on uh, it, of course it's seasons ready it's got its own geo that comes with it as well i should have mentioned that earlier on but but it ticks all the boxes in terms of functionality uh, and it, it's just a lovely lovely map so uh, from me for now farm sim guy uh thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye open for this when it comes out and i will see you all again very soon bye for now we're free of what we lost not anything or anyone will hold us back